to the Raman Lab of Department of Physics of Vidhi Sangha's Virashiva College, Bellary. I am Ms. A. Shirley Jones, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Physics, now taking the practical class for BSc 6 sem. In BSc 6 sem, we have got to 14 experiments, and today I am going to take some two experiments on GM counter. Using GM counter, we have three experiments uh, in the study uh, which we have done in the class. They are mainly characteristic of uh, GM counter, inverse square and the third one is absorption coefficient. Now, every GM counter works at operating voltage. This operating voltage should be obtained from drawing a GM characteristic. Now, first experiment let's, draw, let's do, that is to draw the GM characteristic of the GM counter. Now, the aim of the first experiment is to draw the GM characteristic of this GM counter. Now, every GM counter consists of, come here. An ionization chamber along the axis and the body, metallic body, we have high voltage across a resistance in series. Now, whenever alpha particle or beta particle enters the ionization chamber, now in the theory we have learnt that this contains a gas and alcohol so it ionizes the gas positive to negative and if you have a voltage greater than zero then what happens at a particular voltage these ions will start flowing to the respective opposite polarities they constitute a current i when i passes through a resistance r there is a output voltage vo now, this current comes only when you apply a sufficient voltage. The voltage at which the current starts flowing in the circuit is called as threshold voltage. So, at the threshold voltage and greater than that, we have current here and this current passing through the resistance, we have an output. This now I will feed to an amplifier, so you will have a pulse. Then I will connect this to what is called as register, where a sufficient height will give a count 1. So a count 1 is registered when you have a sufficient voltage. The counts are dependent on the voltage applied. So when I draw a graph of voltage versus the counts obtained, I said that it will start at a particular voltage called as threshold voltage. We get a graph. The nature of graph is something like this. Now this graph drawn between the voltage applied to the GM counter and the counts registered in the counter is called as GM characteristic. Now in the GM characteristic we see two specific regions A, B and C. A, B is one region and B, C is another region. A, B is called as plateau region. B, C is called as avalanche region. Now the midpoint of A, B region is called operating voltage. Now what is uh, plateau region, avalanche region, I have explained in the theory, but uh, let me tell in short that the range of voltage which, at which the count remains almost constant is called as plateau region and the midpoint of plateau region, now how to get it, we will draw perpendiculars to the x axis, this is V1, this is V2, therefore operating voltage is V1 plus V2 by 2. Now, every counter has 
operating voltage. Before you do any experiment with the GM powder, you have to find its operating voltage. Now let me uh, show you how to find the operating voltage. This is the uh, GM counting system and this is the stand to have the source. Now before we operate this GM counter, we have to first program it. I will just on it first. Now before you on the main see that this knob is at minimum. What it is, I'll tell you. We will on it. Now this is GM counting system. Then this is voltage attenuator. And here we will do the programming. Now look here, there is a program. So I'll press it. Now I'll get certain statements here. This is recall. I don't want it. I want to program it to count the counts. So I will put it at here. Now here you see preset time. I have to set it per minute. I will show you how to do that. HV means high voltage. This is the voltage attenuator. So now I will program it. When I press this. Oh. Yeah. Now to make the preset time 60 seconds, now here you see two knobs, one knob, this one, the top one, when you press, the digit under the cursor will change, the digit under the cursor will change, and it will move only in one cycle, it won't go the reverse way, see here, suppose there is 3 or 4 here, I want to make it zero. I cannot use this. What I should do? I should do only in the positive way, in the clockwise direction. So I will make it zero. It is one. So again I have to go in the positive way only. Zero. And here, when I press this, the cursor shifts. You see? So, I will put here. Now, I want to change the digit under the cursor. What I should do? I have to press the below knob. Look here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, preset time is 60 seconds. That means one minute. HV means high voltage. I haven't given any voltage. First we will set like this and I will store this data by pressing the store button. Now the program is done. Now I will take a source. The source what I have taken for this experiment that is to draw the GM characteristic and find the operating voltage is thallium 204, a beta source. So I will keep it at a definite distance from the GM tube. Now this is the stand where I told you here the ionization chamber, right? That chamber is the GM tube. It is here and there is a cable. All this, the input voltage, the resistance, the amplifier, the register, all these are packed in the system. Now I have placed the source at a definite distance. The distance should remain constant always. There is source. Now I will start. When I start, there are no counts here. What's the reason? Because there is no voltage here. Now I will increase the voltage. When I increase the voltage, I am not getting any counts. Here you find one more thing, A is flickering. If A is flickering, counter is on. So 173 I have applied to no counts. I am still increasing, increasing, increasing. Ah, around 348 I am getting some counts. Okay, if I decrease. You see, I kept 325, it stopped. Now I will increase slowly. Now A stopped. 
that means flickering stop that means counter has stopped counting so again i have to start i have started 331 i have applied no counts now i will increase further and stop where the count starts beginning 335 no counts 337 no counts 338 there are counts started coming so 338 is the starting voltage that means threshold voltage now the counts are coming let's do it again because i have taken some time in setting for 339 i will stop it and again i will start it now freshly at 338 ah oh, i am not finding any counts so i will increase further 330 340 i am getting so 340 is the threshold voltage so you should take counts at 340 per minute now this counter automatically stops counting after the completion of 1 minute or 60 seconds here so in the tablet column you should now start recording this data now you see here is the tablet column applied voltage observed counts per minute and one more thing background i'll tell you what to do later we will find out the true counts so for one minute we will see what is the count so applied voltage is 340 that is the threshold voltage and let me show you how many counts i am getting Sixty. See, it stopped automatically, and the count number is one three one nine. So you have to record here. Next, I want you all to observe one thing. I'll take this source, and I'll keep it at a larger distance. That means in the working table there is no um, source. Now observe one thing. observe one thing now i will start now look here there is no source and i am starting okay when there is no source here i am finding some counts now what is this due to these counts i am getting because of what is called as background error now what is this background error background error means day in and day out there are contaminations alpha or beta or gamma radiations coming and hitting us day in and day out continuously they are coming from the earth's crust but we are not sensitive but the counter is sensitive so it will count those we will see that for one minute we are going to get some number now it is just 44 seconds so for one minute we will sum so this i don't want i want purely from the source so this is there in the background and it's continuously as an error so that's why it is called as background error so what we will do see for one minute i got 29 here preset time is 60 that is one minute and the background error i got 29 i will tabulate it here now 13 19 minus 29 is the true count and here it comes out to be 1290 next what i will do the next i will keep the source again but i increase the voltage because i have to draw a graph of voltage versus count so i will take a difference of 30 volts i will keep now earlier it was 340 now i will keep it as 370 370 preset time is 60 there is no resetting here all readings are recorded and every time we start this button it will take a fresh count so now i am putting the source at the same distance i'll put and again i will start for one minute it will count take the counts for 1 minute we let's say how much we get so what we have to do is like that for 370 now 
I have to find, next I have to find the background, then calculate true counts. Like that we should go on doing it till we get the avalanche region, I told you here. Suddenly it will increase, I said. I must observe this sudden increase in counts. So, let us, you have to do the experiment for every 30 voltage difference and find out the respective counts. So, when we do that, we can tabulate all the readings. I will just show you. Now, uh, it is uh, 49 seconds. Okay. I just wanted to show that this number increases. It will be more than 1319. Yeah. So, earlier it was 1390. Now, it is 1397. Now, you have to find the background. Calculate the true count. Now, when we go on like this, at one point, somewhere around 570 or 550, you will get uh, a hike double. That means it is 1300 here. You will get something like 2000 or 3000. Then take one or two readings, then draw the graph. The graph would be like this. Okay. And now, uh, let me show you that uh, 370. So, this is uh, 400. 430, 470, 4, 500, 530, that's Now, there will be a double, I just uh, will show that point, then we will draw the graph and calculate the operating voltage. Now, let us see how much we get for 530. That is avalanche region. If you get the double the one, hike in the voltage, it is avalanche region. What is avalanche region? The sudden increase in counts at a particular voltage. Now, the sudden increase in counts we get because the covalent bonds will break and the covalent bonds, when they break, there will be a sudden increase in electrons. You see, it has crossed already 2,200. Earlier it was 1,300, but now you are seeing it as 2000 and some number. What is that? 2640. So I got at uh, 530 only. I got 2640. You can take two more readings. Now you have to draw the graph. You draw the graph of these two counts versus the applied voltage. You will get a curve like this. Then mark the points where the counts are remaining constant. That is mark the point A and mark point B. Drop perpendiculars, measure V1, measure V2. Then use the formula operating voltage is equal to V1 plus V2 by 2. And you will get for this counter somewhere around 415 to 430 watts. So this is how we determine the operating voltage of this GM counter by drawing the GM characteristic. This is one experiment. We can do many more experiments, but this experiment should be done for every GM counter. Thank you.